we present our flexible motion optimization system that takes sparse and crudely specified keyframes and outputs rich and physically plausible motions. Our system lies at the intersection of keyframing and physics-based animation. Our method addresses a number of limitations of trajectory optimization by incorporating external assistive forces, optimizing for timing, exploring multiple solution modes, and allowing for black box simulators. A key element of our approach is the use of assistive forces. These pull the character towards the reference motions using springs and dampers, as illustrated here. Importantly, the strength of these assistive forces can be modulated over time, as we will see shortly. The characters are physically simulated, driven by both internal torques, tau, and assistive forces, f, modulated over time by beta. Contact forces also exist, but these are not shown here. The optimization parameters, phi, then consist of the joint PD target angles, which generate internal torques, the modulation of the assistive forces, and the keyframe timing. The motion objective is to minimize the sum of observed errors at the keyframes, the degree of external assist, the degree of internal effort, and a term favoring shorter duration motions. Finally, we optimize the motions using a shooting method. We use CMAES as a derivative-free optimization method. Now we present our results. We evaluate our method on a variety of characters. Luxo, Desk, and Folk are 2D characters, and Boxy is a 3D character. With our system, the user can create visually plausible and physical motions in contact-rich scenarios such as wall flips and parkour movements. Our flexible optimization system allows for the emergence of auxiliary behaviors such as clamoring, pushing, and follow-through. Our system extends to 3D contexts with straightforward modifications. We show the results of applying our method to Boxy, whose limb joint rotations are constrained to the sagittal plane. When the input keyframes specify a physically impossible motion, assistive forces take charge to track the keyframes, resulting in exaggerated, cartoon-like movements. However, character actuations are still involved, making the overall character movement believable.
Our control parameterization uses time-adaptive assist modulation as opposed to a simpler approach, such as learning a single value for reliance onto the assistive forces. Although this time-indexed approach introduces additional dimensionality, it can handle scenarios where both physically feasible and infeasible motions appear in the same input. We present a case where Luxo performs an impossibly high jump and then an easy hop forward. Notice that the global assist approach fails to distinguish the infeasible and feasible phases of the specified motion, while the time indexed approach minimizes assist during the second half. As an alternative baseline, we consider introducing time indexed forces and torques that are applied at the root of the character, independent of reference motion. However, this approach drastically increases parameter dimensionality compared to the compact time index scalar modulation. Given this high box jump motion that requires significant assist, our time indexed beta approach can find good local minima consistently. However, if optimizing root forces and torques directly, the system struggles to find a solution that lands in a stable fashion, given the same compute budget. Moreover, the linear and angular root forces must be carefully balanced, which adds difficult tuning efforts. Note the backflip motion on the left, which is a valid solution mode that emerges. The solutions found by our system tend to generalize to similar input keyframes. We demonstrate this with Luxo's box jump motion. The solution found on this 2 meter jump can be applied to other box heights without further optimization. Here, keyframes are automatically generated based on box height. The generalization performance of this solution shows prospects for real-time application via reusing solutions instead of optimizing from scratch every time. The range of generalization is limited, thus requiring a careful design for deploying pre-computed solutions. Although our system uses external assistive forces, penalty weights can be modified such that the final motions may be completely physical. For these motions, we optimize with high assist penalty and manually set assist to zero during runtime. Disabling assist during optimization results in inferior performance, even when completely physical motions are desired. The motion on the left uses assist during optimization, while the one on the right does not. This goes to show that our system leverages assist for discovering solution modes efficiently. Relying only on external assistive forces without actuation yields passive ragdoll-like motions. Our system is capable of exploring a diverse set of solution modes. Here, we present resulting motions for the same keyframes optimized with different hyperparameter values. Here, the same set of hyperparameters and keyframes were used, and different runs returned different motions.
Our system can achieve solution modes for unintuitive and rare motions, such as this handstand example. Although our system allows sparse and crude keyframes for sketching motions, generating high-quality humanoid motions still takes additional effort. For difficult motions like this vaulting example, a significant amount of fine-tuning may be necessary. To demonstrate a potential use case of our system, we developed a user interface prototype that creates simple motions. Here, the user authors a jumping motion and achieves the desired result in a matter of minutes on a 24-core machine. Using Horizon Curriculum helps visualize intermediate results without having to wait until convergence. The user can rapidly prototype animations using this interface by tweaking the parameters of optimization and receiving the results in less than a minute. Thank you for watching. Please refer to the main paper for more details.